Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 2, Structure. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now let's moving ahead. Section 2 is having four parts. Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. Part A talks about ferrous material specifications, which is generally we use in pressure vessel industry. Okay. Part B is non-ferrous. Part C is for welding rods and electrodes, wires, you know, which we use for welding. So for there also, for that welding electrode also, we need specification, right? So for that purpose, part C is there. And then part D is very useful as a static equipment design engineer because Part D covers our properties, allowable stresses, you know, and modulus of elasticity. So physical and mechanical properties. These are covered in Part D. So as a static equipment design engineer, you might be referring Part D a lot. Okay, but generally we ignore Part A. So moving forward. So see, we saw that there are four different parts. ASME. Uh, section 2, part A, part B, part C, and part D. So A, B, and C, these are actually uh, specifications where you will have chemical compositions and you know ordering information like that information you know, for procurement purpose. You know, what should be uh, assigned as a ordering information, whether I have to do heat treatment or not, all those things are covered in A, B, and C related to different materials part d talks about mechanical properties and physical properties so mechanical properties like tensile strength yield allowable those things will find in part d for physical properties modulus of elasticity thermal expansion density okay these things you will find in part d okay so apart from that there is also one very important uh, part which we for that we refer party that is external pressure calculation okay. so there are lots of chart there which we use as a mechanical engineer as a static equipment engineer okay now so we saw that part a b and c mainly related to the procurement part d is related to design process you no know, because it has the properties 